This video is not financial advice. This video is for is made for entertainment purposes only. What is up, everyone? Safe Investor AG here. H Bar Simp, Saucy Warrior. So, I'm I'm too stoked um, for for everything really. So, uh, I want to share with you guys my post interview comments. And um, the, 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 the main takeaways that I believe, I wish uh, I would have had more time, but, uh, but Warlock, I think his time frame, he's on Eastern Central. So while it was around 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. on mine, on my end, because I'm from California, he was, he was just like past midnight, so you guys read, so I couldn't go any further. But anyways... The project's going awesome. So, I, uh, my main point, uh, anyways, let's, let's go through some um, data real quick. And then I'm going to explain and give you guys my thoughts on how the interview went. So, anyways, can't get, I mean, this is just, just so much bullishness. So, let's go over here. The farm, the, the new yield farm, got, it, it, it's up. Okay, to provide liquidity for this this ugly dude. Okay, and it's doing awesome. Um, so the farming, you, you just go um, right here, and you can see the 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 farm right there. Ralph and H bar. Right now, you can earn an APY of eleven. Uh, I'm sorry, a hundred and twelve percent and a hundred and fourteen percent. That's amazing. I mean, that's a lot. That's that's a lot. And currently, it's making um, it's way too uh, many new spots. So if you go to the new website, you can read right here. Okay, the top pools currently, right now, right now, right now, right now, it is. Growth and HR, look at that. Boom. That's one of the top pools. Okay. It's doing amazing. Doing great. Okay. Um this this project, it's it's there's more in depth than I, I kind of imagine. But now I want to tell you guys, I'm gonna tell you guys in the end why I bought Growth. Why this project um, the division, it's a lot greater than we all, uh, even anticipate. So it's finally having a nice, healthy pullback. This is nice and healthy. Now, let me tell you something about this uptrend. This was from like two cents, bam, to 30 cents. It's like a good 10 X. If you're buying at one cent, like I did, then you would a 20x. So I don't even need to speak to the uh, to to uh, whales, but look, these red candles. The red candles, obviously, everyone knows it means sell. It has selling pressure. Green candles has a lot of buys. I've told you guys that you can't just simply sell if you're a whale. See, in order to drop this price. The way it dropped from, let me show you, this is right there. Six cents all the way to four cents, 4.5 cents. Yeah, so six, six point six down to uh, 4.5. That's a 40% drop, okay? In order for you to drop it that low, all right, you have to sell a massive bag. Or a whale. You have to be a whale. What's the risk, though? Well, this is the risk. Now, I have a big bag. But let me show you. Um, so let's say I want to sell my bag. Let's say 50%. Bam. Look at that price impact. So if I want to sell 45000 of my growth, I'll only get to keep 32000 because of the anti-whale manipulation um, mechanism it's got 
So they'll confiscate 27% because I'm about to drop maybe the market at 30%. So they'll confiscate 27%. But in order for me to make money, because once I get back in, in the same volume, they will also confiscate another 25%. So in order for me to make money and they trade this, I need this to drop instead of uh, from 650 right here, not just to 545, I need it to drop a little bit lower, maybe four. Does that make sense? So I can make money day trading this. But that's a bad idea because every time you drop, it got bought up. Whales kept, you know, I'm sure there's some pissed off whales that are frustrated because they can't day trade this. You can't day trade this. You cannot, okay? This price impact is going to choke you out. Why are you giving away freaking tens of thousands of um, grelf day trading this? If you're out, just ease your way out, okay? Sell little by little, okay? Take profits. But don't trade this because I've messed up too, you know? I, I didn't like day trade a chunk of it. You know, I, I tried day trading like, I don't know, like 5,000 growth, whatever. And it really kicked my butt. Now, I it, it, it didn't drop this hard. Like this boy right here. Whoever day traded this completely um, dropped the ball here because you got left behind. So this whale, I'm sure he got super pissed selling right here. Expecting it to drop to 4, but it only dropped to 4.7. Uh, and... I'm sure it probably touched somewhere around here and it got bought back up immediately and then he got left behind. And then try to get cute and try it again. Sold right here and nope, didn't drop back to six ish. He got bought back up. Does that make sense? Again, he tried to sell right here, got bought, it got bought back up. It's, it's a terrible idea, guys. I don't know why. I'm sure there's some pissed off whales that they cannot day trade this. Don't day trade this, okay? Not financial advice, but it's just why would you day trade some, you know, something that's, you know, you know you're a whale, you know you're gonna impact the price with your sales. So that's a terrible idea. I'm just saying, like, if you're gonna take profits, take profits. Let someone else take your spot. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people. Anyways, all right. It's hard to, you won't be able to day trade this. Two, I've gotten friends, family members that they're trying to get their hands on growth. But some of them are frustrated because they don't know how to. So currently right now, it's, this is that process. People adjusting to how to buy growth, okay? You know they have to set up a they have to set up a hash pack wallet, and uh, and yeah, I show my brother how to get some growth. He got some growth. Um, show a buddy of mine because he wanted some growth. He got some growth. He bought down here, and that guy's holding. Period. He's he's holding. He got it like a ten cents actually, and he is holding it. Uh, I, I I help my brother. Um, you know my my mother in law is interested in uh, buying some growth, and so. Uh, Right now, this is that process. People are educating themselves on how to buy, which is what I was predicting. We have to give it time. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take people to figure this out. Whatever, however long they need. Once they start figuring it out, it'll be a piece of cake. They're going to feel comfortable buying it and holding it. And then they're also going to get friends that will ask them, how do I buy this? And then they're also gonna show them, and then they're also gonna take maybe a week or two to figure things out and to finally buy it. Cause a buddy a buddy of mine that he's a pretty tech savvy and uh, he tried to figure it out and he couldn't, he, he, he just called and said, hey, you, you gotta help me. So I had to do a video uh, call with him, show him, got the hashtag wallet. You know, he loaded his hashtag wallet with um, some H bars and then he went to Saucer Swap and and yeah, so um, that, that, that's eventually that's I had to show them that way.
And even though there's, yeah, so right now they're learning. This consolidation is learning. There's some whales that, you know, this is a fatty whale that tried to day trade this and got burnt right here. See that he tried to, bam, he just dumped, dropped all the way to 23 cents. And, but you see how quickly this got uh, bought up? All the way to 31 cent immediately. Okay, whales, oh man. You you about you you're gonna get wrecked if you keep doing this, and I don't even try. I'm not even gonna try to look around and and, and ask on Twitter who's you know who's selling or who's. I I don't need to do that because I already know they're pissed. They're pissed that they they're attempting. To, sorry, just funny. Anyway, so now I'm gonna give you guys my <laughs> my thoughts on the interview. Uh, the interview, um, the point of the interview was to find out, one, who's Adam Warlock? Just kidding, the Warlock. What was he all about? Um, his intentions. So I, I wanted to get a feel for the guy, see, you know, fill him out and uh, see uh, uh, if he's a cool guy. Um, what do you guys think? Is he pretty cool? Is he... Is he... Uh, you let me know. Comment down below. I wanted to know how many tokens he was holding. So he said 1.1 million. 1.1 million. So you can pretty much see. And this is why I love um, Salsa Swap Analytics. You can verify that stuff. Did you guys know that? You can go to the hash scan. Okay. Right here. And you can find out purchase orders. And people that are holding. You can verify right here right here so go to the next page and you'll see the balances okay these are the accounts with the balances like for example this dude's holding 253 this was holding the 193 okay and then you find people are like right here he's holding 8,000 he's holding 2,400 does that make sense so now there's small accounts this is a big old whale right here he bought a million and a hundred, dang! All right, this dude's got three hundred and twenty thousand. Dang, I think that's me. <laughs> Look at that! Look at the ID twenty twenty eight six eighty four. Uh, no, no, that's eighty four eighty six. That's not me. Sorry, never mind. So you can see here, people are, are buying Grelph. They're, they're buying Grelf. And so, yeah, you can see it right there. Okay. That's the beautiful thing about this um, uh, Salsa Swap Analytics. So it's completely transparent. I love it. I love it. Everyone has the same chance. It's it's just, yeah. So, uh, and I'm sure there were people that sold maybe at six cents. Some sold at 10 cents. Some sold at 20 cents. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, you, when it when it, you've done your homework and you have conviction in something, uh, you understand that uh, holding it's you know the, the best strategy because you have to remember this isn't a manipulated uh, graph or stock. Okay, this isn't manipulated. There's mechanisms to prevent dumping. This okay, so um, that's why I'm holding. I'm going to hold. So anyways, the purpose of, um, he, he has 1.1 million and, um, that's about 18% of the float, which is great. That means he cannot suddenly dump it all on everyone. As a matter of fact, there's a tweet, there's a tweet he said, I want to show you guys. Okay. Watch this. Um, where's he at? Right here. Okay, from Crete, from Warlock. He said, notice to Grelf holders. Grelf has become so big that I don't feel comfortable holding large amounts on a wallet that has connected to many con smart contracts. I will be moving my personal Grelf holdings to a new wallet shortly. And he gives a wallet ID. Y'all see that? Is Wait, hold on. Just want to stay transparent. 
20, 28, 5, 5, 3. No way. Is that the one we just saw? Wait a minute. What? Twenty twenty eight five five three. His is twenty twenty eight five five three. What the heck, dude? What? <laughs> Guys, that's his wallet. It's right there. Twenty twenty eight five five three. And he was telling the truth. One million. He, he, what? No way. Okay, well, um, adds more bullishness to the. <laughs> Dude, that means a lot. I mean, bro, I, I mean, I even messaged around here what I say. Um, I retweeted this actually. I retweeted it saying, This is why I'm a growth investor. The creator is so transparent. We appreciate you. Thank you for your transparency, brother. Thank you for your transparency, brother. Okay, thank you, Crete, for being so transparent. This is his wallet, guys. It's right there. 20, 28, 5, 5, 3. That's his wallet. Holy crap. Dang. Man. An amazing project with an amazing um, creator. That's... That's great. That means a lot. So, yeah, it's meaning a lot of resistance as it's dropping right now. So you can tell. It's not dropping sharply. It's dropping little by little. That shows people are holding it, which is amazing. At any moment, see, it's kind of like, it, it looks kind of like it did down here. Okay. It goes a little, you know, it drops a little by little. Same goes over here. Okay, so anyways, uh, it's going to find a clear bottom and bam, it's going to get right back up to 35 cents. Holy crap. So he does hold a million. And um, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. I got a feel for for his intentions. And he, I don't know, what do you guys think? Am I wrong? Am I missing something? Um, and he's coming up with amazing projects uh that he's gonna build on top of growth uh it's gonna be i can't wait so i don't know there's a possibility for a second interview in the future we're, we're, we're in the talk so comment down below if you have any suggestions of what you expect uh, what you would like to see uh him um, creating and yeah wow that's so cool now why did i buy growth I want to show you guys why I bought Grelf, okay? Um, let me show you guys. So, I bought Grelf. What is that tweet now? Where is it? Come on, come on. Sorry, if you hear footsteps, it's my, it's my pet. She's, you know, pacing around. I don't know why I told her, you know. Okay, this is his response. I found that since meme coins are great for drawing attention, Grelf is actually a great opportunity to go outside our ecosystem and onboard new users to Hedera. That's going to be my mission going forward. Grelf is silly, but it helps us grow. Who cares? I'm not buying Grelf because it's a meme coin, okay? Oh, a meme coin. There's a bajillion other meme coins. Look, it's, look at all these meme coins. There's a lot. There's, what, there's cream, okay? There's, uh, um, there's cream, there's cacao, which I still don't, this thing, I wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot pole, honestly. Rope, no, I still wouldn't touch that thing. Um, gravel, um, krill token, the freak, wouldn't touch that with the. Uh, sorry, there's so many meme coins, but Grelf, okay. Um, I'm not buying Grelf because it's a meme coin. People are saying, 
safe investor ain't G. Look at you, you're supposed to be investing safe. Huh? Why are you buying a meme coin? I'm not buying a meme coin. I'm buying this project right here. This. Because that's what I believe. It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. Now that it got people's attention, and now that my buddy and uh, my brothers, and for example, my mother-in-law, they're all trying to, they're fumbling around quickly, okay, to catch up and try to get their hands on Grelf, okay? They're trying really fast to get some Grelf. Once they figure that out, it's going to keep spreading like wildfire and then, and then, I mean, we're looking at 50, 60, 70, $1, um, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. I don't know how high it's going to go. And I love this process. This is why I bought Grelf. I bought Grelf because of this project. What do you guys think? Uh, and I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm holding my, my Grelf. Y'all can see that I'm, I'm, I'm saying true to my word. Um, because this thing is, um, as I am predicting in the, in the interview, in the future, it'll be a delicacy coin. People will want to get their hands in it. I mean, sorry, in it, on it. And, um, they'll want to hold some. I might even use some of mine as giveaways and for fun little um, giveaways. I don't know. Um, but I want to keep, for the long haul, uh, I want to keep 100, yes, 100 to 150K Grelf. They're going to be locked in my hash pack wallet, and I ain't going to touch them. going to give it, I don't know, 5, 10 years. I have no clue. I'm going to give that long. But right now, time is ticking right here. This graph is looking mighty juicy. Holy crap. It's just looking too juicy. Um, so anyways, comment down below. What do you guys think um, about the um, my conclusions? This is not financial advice. Um... I wish Grelf was cheaper so I could buy a little more, but it's not there anymore. So now I'm holding to take profits and I'm holding to $1. Um, so now I have been suggested, people have suggested, there was a couple of users that suggested one or two. I think there was just one that said I should just have an even 300K to hold. Uh, I should just hold 300K exactly all the way up. I don't know if they were trying to convince me so I can... <laughs> Release some so some people might buy. <laughs> I don't know. I might do that. I might do that. And then um, sell the other 20-something K that I have. And then put them in a, in a farming pool. Probably put it <coughs> in some um, in some Grelf uh, HR pool. I don't know. But comment down below, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. You have a great day. And don't forget, stay saucy.